Hello and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic 2. So, we have finished Nar Shadar. Although, we haven't, because there's a whole bunch of quests that we didn't get to do because we got stuck in that linear section. So, I need to grab our new companion here, Mira. Uh, we could grab Goto, but we'll speak to him when we're back on the ship. Um, I don't know who else we're going to bring. It really doesn't matter who we bring right now, I think. I'm trying to think, is there anyone else we can gain influence with? Um... Well, the problem is, HK, I have looked at how you gain influence with him, and it's the same with Goto, uh, spoilers, in that you can gain influence by in causing the direct death of an innocent person, is how it's described. Um, so it's probably going to be difficult to gain influence with them while we also gain influence with Mira. Uh, so, let's just think. We could bring Visas along, although she also, for some reason, has... She's weird. I looked at how you gain influence of her. You gain it in, I think, with the same way as you gain it with these guys, but also by doing nice things. So you kind of gain influence with her no matter what you do, pretty much, uh, which is interesting. Anyway, um, I don't know. You know what? We'll just choose Baldur. He's a good person in combat. We're unlikely to need him, yeah. so that's fine. We'll just level him up as well while we're here. Uh, extra one in strength. Skills-wise, we'll give him these. Uh, that's alright. Powers wise, uh, destroy droid. Good. Right. Oh, he has two levels. Fantastic. Some more skills. Beats wise, uh, he's pretty good in everything he has, so... I guess we gotta get him something he doesn't have. I guess the next one here? The next toughness? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Powers wise... Um, I could start getting him stun. We'll start getting him stun. That's fine. Except... Let's move out. Nice. So he is pretty strong right now. We're pretty strong. It's all good. Uh, can I open these again? I can. So yes, we need to go and tell his... Wait. Do we still have to go and tell his wife about him? Uh, I think so. Uh, yes. Yes, we do. We've encountered him. He's going to meet us at the Jedi Enclave. We have to break into Vogus Horde. Um, we have to get rid of the exchange, but we kind of already have. Yeah, okay, and we need someone who needs a work, a mission. Hmm, okay. Well, let's uh, clear up the place first and then see what we got. I'm just checking if there's anything else around. I don't imagine there's going to be. Nope. Right, we'll grab the remains here. So first point of port of call, I think, is the cantina, followed by the refugee sector. Just going to continue opening these so we're kind of clear on what's going on. I think those are going to be the same as they were. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the same as they were. Cool. Right. So, let's head to the cantina. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Oh, hello there. Um... I really wasn't expecting you. Kill them. Ah, perfect. I can find out whether they count, which I think they do. We're about to die. Um, where they count towards HK's mission or um, quest when he's not in the party, which I think they do. Nice. Right, as long as we can outheal them with Baldur killing them, we should be able to. We're good. Right. That's fine. Nice. So if I check that one there, yes, one more in HK will be able to give you the location of their facility. Nice. Okay. That's good. And I believe that that one is 100% um, new content. Like, I think that's restored content. I could be wrong, but um, the HK facility was always one of those ones where it was like, it was teased a lot in the game and then you never actually got to go there. Although I did see there's another mod which gives that same stuff, so I'm kind of thinking... Do I need that? Did I need that other mod? But I think it's all in this one. It should be good. Anyway, we'll find out, I guess, as we go on. Well, only one more group then. Uh, hey, what's up? Next group of uh, droids. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Alright, well this will be the uh, third group then, huh? Um, I want Master Energy Resistance to start this one. 
Nice. Then a force wave. That didn't knock down any of them, but that's okay. Now we'll just wipe this one out. Nice. Good first got one. Yep. Really bad second one. Good third one, and perfect. Get behind it. Did that one count as the last one we needed? Yeah. HK-47 has enough information to find their facility. Oh, that's awesome. I've never been there. I have no idea what's there. It's actually new content. Like, confirmed new content. That's really cool. Right. Couple heals. That was a cool moonwalk he did as well there. Right. Uh, ooh, I thought we were in a cutscene the way it changed the camera angle there. Right, so what we're looking for in here? Well, we're looking for two things. One, I think one of the Twi'leks dropped loot. And two, we're looking for Juma Juice. Uh, yeah, perfect. both of them dropped loot. Ah, spinning blades. Lovely. More of those. And a negotiator. Cool. Hey. Back again, I see. How can I help you this time? Uh, I'm looking for some Juma Juice to make some Cath Hounds take a nap. That's so? Well, you're in luck. I got plenty of it. Cost you a hundred credits for a flask big enough for what you need, no more. Um, well, hundred credits is a lot for a flask. How about another offer? All right. Guess you weren't as desperate as I thought. Fifty credits, no more. Um, all right, here you go. Here's the flask. Aged to perfection. Should be just what you need. Thank you. Right, well, that's good. Uh, now we're off to the refugee sector to possibly get rid of the exchange, but to definitely uh, tell that person about their husband. Yeah, should be good. Right. Along this way. Uh, still don't know where we're going to get a ship for that pilot. We haven't seen anyone who's looking for a, a pilot, but, you know, there might be somebody somewhere. We'll see. I thought Visquis was the person who was running this sector as well, but I could be wrong. But I'm sure he said, I'm running the refugee sector. And we killed him, or he is dead, so I don't know. Maybe we have, well, we it doesn't look like we've got rid of the exchange, does it? Right. Come down here. Let's, oh, we've also potentially got the speeder that we can fix. Because I think we've got the parts for it, although it's a little late in the game for us to need it. But, hey, let's go see if we can fix that speeder first. Uh, because we got the flaps, I think. Oh, that's not the way. Long here somewhere. Oh, do we have to take the long route round? Uh, yeah, we have to take the long route round. That's fine. So it should be just in here. And if this is fixed, then we can use it to potentially get back to Voga without having to take the long way round, which would be nice. Let's see, though. Airspeeder. Been sabotaged beyond repair. Oh. All right, then. I guess we can't repair it, then. That's a little bit disappointing. Maybe that was one of the things that wasn't finished in the game. Like, maybe uh, you were meant to be able to use it to travel around, but it would have broken too many of the triggers, so it got disabled. I don't know. Uh, willing for Ada. 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 She was behind here, wasn't she? Yeah. Hey, Ada. Back again? Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, yeah, Lutra lives. He's actually came to Narshadar looking for you. What? Lutra's here? Please, you must help me get to him. Um, why can't you go to him now? The exchange is circling the sector like Shyrax. If one of us should slip free, they will hunt us down and punish us. Um, okay. Well, let me see what I can do. I'll be right back. Please, don't cause any trouble on my behalf. If you harm any of the exchange here, they'll take it out on us a hundredfold. Okay, well, uh, I'll see what I can do. Right, uh, the exchange aren't really my friends, so it's probably going to be quite difficult to do this peacefully, but I'll see what I can do. Uh, along to the left, right. Could bring Goto along. You know what? That sounds fun. Goto, hello. Um, excuse me? Goto. Hello. We can also level up Goto as well. Right, Goto is a droid. He does droid-like things. Uh, that's pretty much all we know about Goto in terms of his stuff. 
level him up. Attributes, what's he got? He's got high decks. So we'll 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 uh, spec into more decks. Doesn't really look like he should have high decks, just being a giant ball, but you know. I guess in a way, maybe it's the right shape. I don't know. Maybe it's aerodynamic. Droid trick. Hmm, that's a new one. We haven't seen that before. Is that like mind trick where you can go invisible? Oh, he's become more evil as we've leveled him up. Right, one of those. I don't think he actually has. I think he was always slightly evil. It's just, uh, he only shows up as wispy stuff at the bottom. Right, we'll go with some of that. Beats. Uh, yeah, sure. Dual weapon fighting. What's droid trick? It uh, makes it easy to sneak. Okay, fine. Yeah, and it's only something that Goto can have anyway. Uh, keep leveling him up. We're not going to use him for stealth. I can't see that being something that I ever do. But, you know, we'll see. Skills-wise, we'll keep pumping points in here. Another level up. More points. And feet. Scramble droid. Uh, so we can get a hostile droid to fight for us. Cool. Uh, we'll take Master 2 Weapon Fighting. Continue leveling them up. More decks. Skills-wise, we'll continue putting points in here. Another level up. Um, I think we only have to do this once more in the game. This kind of level up. But, uh, it should be more interesting next time. Because uh, I believe they're not a droid. So, right. One of those. Accept. Level up. More of these. Yep. Okay. Level up. Attributes. Ooh, another dex. Skills. More of those. Right. Uh, level 20 now. I think level 21 is the level we're at, so I'd imagine it's Goto's level. Uh, feats. I don't know. Master Caution. Good. Goto's leveled up. Uh, he needs armor. Um, probably this 10 armor that's used on Starship hulls, as it's put there. Uh, we'll use Carbonite Emitter, Droid Repulsor. And uh, Flamethrower. What are we going for here? Like an attack bonus. I'm not going to spend too long thinking about it. Just want to make sure they have generally good things on. Wisdom upgrade sounds good. The Goto Targeting Module. Yeah, seems good. Right. Uh, uses an Aratec droid thing there. We probably don't need that. We'll go with the Sistec Blaster. And... Uh, that's a lot of negatives, potentially. As in, it can apply a lot of negatives. Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. We'll go with that. There's Goto. All leveled up. Right. I just need somebody who can talk to the exchange for me, so... Yeah. Might, might be something there. I mean... In theory. Either that or he's going to say I'm staying out of it. Which is possible. Or I'm going to kill you instead. Which is also possible. Although he needs us to save the Republic. He told us that several times. Uh, right. Through here. Yeah, it's Sakwesh. Okay. I guess Visquesh was Sakwesh's boss. Anyway, hello. Oh, look at this. The creature has returned. What does it want? Um. Hmm. Well, I'd like to talk to you about Lutra. Lutra. Bah. Do not mention that name to me again. There is nothing to discuss about that one. Um. Alright, I'll be going now. Hey. Um. Well, I guess we only really got one here. Stop pressuring the refugees or I'll be forced to kill you. It's amazing your species has survived to this long. Oh. Well, apparently Goto did not help. Well, Force Wave, then uh, get him. You here, I don't know. Master Sniper Shot, and then you... Flamethrower. Followed by in a few of those. Right, go. Light side points for threatening to kill someone. That's uh, just the way it rolls here. That's another one for me. Okay. Don't stun me. 
Nice, we got him. And 2,000 XP for the privilege. At last. Very good. Right. That was a good clear there. Got the remains. Ooh, Frozian Scout Belt. What is the Frozian Scout Belt? Stealth 3, Dex 3, Defense Bonus. Well, I'm using it. The Frozian are a species of large, uh, gangly mammal uh, mammalian bipeds from the lush paradise of Froze. They employ the belts to help compensate for their typical clumsiness. Opponents must make an awareness check versus the user's stealth skill plus 3 or remain unaware of them. The user must... Oh, it, basically all that says at the bottom is that it's a plus 3 stealth belt. And the nerve amplifier one is an extra wisdom. Cool. Well, we'll use that. Our decks being higher is fantastic news, as always. So, yeah, I like it. Battle armor, not interested. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Anything else in here we need? Not really. Right, hey guys. Oh, yep, you're dead. Sorry, uh, you didn't know that already, but that's fine. We'll get the XP for each of these. Ah, it does feel nice to uh, get rid of the exchange after uh, the amount of trouble they've caused us. Like that? Right. Next one. one yep, perfect. Hey. No. Nope. You're dead. Very dead. Ooh, loot. Sith mask, I'll have it. That's another one for me. That's another one for me. We got credits. Nice. Uh yeah, I get it. Nice. Fairly good clear there. Next room. There's another one in here, isn't there? Yeah. Weapons are. And that one's dead. Next one. Dead. Good. Next security. Get the loot. Which is Mandalorian Power Shield. We're basically uh, resupplying ourselves from the uh, previous fight that we had. Good. Uh, anyone in here? Oh, well, we guess we already killed the guard at the door. Yep. So I believe that this was the end of the exchange side on this side, but there's a little bit more on the other side for us to go and get. Definitely more boxes for us to unlock, I think. I got lost. It's this way. Um, been in there. Yeah, I think there were a few more on this side for us to uh, clear out. Don't imagine they're going to... I'm trying to think if the refugees are going to be happy. They should be happy, but I don't think they're going to be. We have got rid of all of their main problems. Yep, good. Uh, yo, more. Ooh, they all saved it. That's a little worrying. That's another one for me. They're still um, not very good That's against the lightsaber. Ooh, nice empty room. With credits. Nice. That's another one for her. Get the remains. Life support pack. That's what I'm looking for. More health packs. Although I think actually each health pack we get here is another one the disciple's not going to give us. That's another one for me. So, yeah. It's not great, but whatever. Uh, ooh, more boxes. What have we got in here? Eh, not very good. I'm not really expecting any of this to be good. It is a level, though. Ooh, new combat gloves. They are they are the ones that only soldiers can use, but they are very, very good. Uh, I think that was how I was going, something like that. And then, like, two points in... Well, probably in security, I'd guess. That's fine. Beats. We get sneak attack and unarmed specialist. Not that we need either. Then, in here, what are we looking for? Mobility? Hmm... Probably not. The finesse on the lightsaber might actually be good. Because we do tend to have a positive bonus with those. Also, regenerate force points would be good. Uh, I actually think I'm going to improve my deflection with the lightsaber. Because I think that's going to be very useful. Improve force camouflage. We got better stealth. Force barrier for the defense. Good. 
But yeah, I think that uh, the deflection is going to be good, especially if we have to deal with lots of droids. Because uh, they tend to shoot us and we die. And that, that's our only real issue. If we're fighting somebody in melee combat, they don't even stand a chance. Uh, ooh, perfect. Grab that. Um, cool. He also seems to not care that we're just destroying everybody. But you know, works for me. These are all of his... Uh, well, I suppose actually, he's not the... He's not in charge of the exchange. He's just in charge of the exchange in the sector. So, this might not be his men we're killing. It might be, you know, his, his once removed. It's just a random veteran there. Just checking that there was no more exchange on this side. I think this was the Sirocco side. Yeah, I think it was. Just going to double check along here. Yes, yeah, leads, leads us into the Sirocco side. That's fine. Right. Head back and uh, clear it out. Well, go clear out the quests. Say, we've saved you. Be saved. Right. Uh, down here. Down here. Right, so first person I need to speak to is, um, uh, Adia, I think it is. Yes, you. Hello. Back again? Is there anything I can do for you? Um, Luta lives. What? Yeah, um, I'll see what I can do. I guess I need to speak to Husa first. Hey. Thanks for taking care of Sakwesh. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Okay, good. Now I can speak to her. Back again? Uh, Lutra what? lives. Why can't Ex you go to him now? Uh, Deal with the exchange? You might as well wrestle with the planet. This quest? This quest is the exchange yeah. boss. Please. I've, I've already Back dealt again? with it. It's not a lie. See, this isn't a lie Back when I'm again. saying it here. Uh, the path is clear. The exchange thugs have been... Well, maybe that's not clear. Let, let's see. Maybe it's not clear. Maybe there is one ex exchange thug left or something. I don't know. Let's have a look. If I try and leave out this way, maybe there's an exchange thug and I need to kill them all. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody in between here and the door. See, I know I'm going to get dark side points if I finish it without clearing out everyone. Oh! Oh. I guess I just needed to walk up there to trigger it. Oh, okay then. That's fine then. Uh, I have solved the issue for you. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go and talk to her then. Uh, hello there. I have solved your Back issue. Again? Yeah, Lutra lives. What? Uh, the exchange thugs have been dealt with. What? How did you do this? I barely know you, and you've brought me word of my husband, and then a free path to him. It's almost too good to be true. Hmm. Um. Uh, the galaxy could go a long way in healing itself if everyone was able to help each other in such a way. You've given me my husband back, stranger. My husband. My life. Thank you. You better go. He's waiting for you. Nice. Okay. More XP. Uh, so the family's gone. He's still waiting for me to tell him that there's some sort of uh, yeah, job for him. But I don't have a job for him, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Can I speak to him and see whether maybe there is another job if I speak to him again? Hey, any uh, I'm still working Thanks on it. You. Oh, you know what, actually? I think I know who it might be. I'm trying to think. Because there is a bit where we can do the... Si we can say, hey, people are looking for fuel at Citadel Station. Volga might say, oh, but I need some more pilots to help me. And then you go, ah, well, I know a pilot. And then that's all good. I don't know. Maybe that's what happens. We'll see. Do another quick save. Just in case I decide to come back at this point. Not that I should. Right, so now it's time to go to Volga. Uh, rob him blind. Then it's time to uh, yeah, negotiate with him. 
Although, actually, now that I think about it, as fun as it would be, I'm not going to bring uh, Goto to Volga if I want to get the good outcome. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that didn't swap. He seems to not swap on the first try here. Unless I just miss something every time, but I don't think I do. Oh, he leveled up again. Nice. Uh, improved force jump. Still can't use it, but, you know, he has it. Uh, powers? Yeah, why don't you have stasis? Cool. So, we want to go over to that side. We can actually... Can we change our transponder codes? Now that I think about it, because we... Do have other transponder codes we could switch the Ebon Hawk to. Let's see what uh, he says. Hey. Tian, it's Beador, 12th Engineering Division out of Eodoria. I worked with you in the hangar bays on the Salamoth. Ah, your features are unfamiliar to me, but the voice I remember. My eyes may be poor, but my hearing is still sharp. But the Jedi Civil War is over. Why did you, you come to me now, with this other shape besides you? Tien, we are already in trouble. In some ways, the war is not yet over, and our enemies seek us even now. The war? You bring up the war to use it against me. You know how hard it is to speak to Niles when such requests are heard. Are you alright? Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, hey. Um... Nope. Okay, we're good. Can't switch the transponder code, but that is cool. There was another bit of dialogue if you bring uh, Baradur there. Yeah, neat. Hey, what happens if we speak to this guy with Mira? Haven't heard anything more yet. Hmm. Let me know when you hear anything. Not gonna let us in on the secret, Mira? No? Okay. That's fine. Thought we were trusted, but I guess not. Right. This way we shall go. Ooh, remains. Droid defense barrier. Hmm, cool. Narshadar docks. Okay. Continue along to Voga. Now, here's the thing about Voga. We do have to do the dancing again, I think, to put him to sleep. So, that means someone's going to have to wear the dancing outfit. Hmm. Well, we do have Mira in the party. Why does she wear it this time? Uh, dancer's outfit. Yeah. Right. And we'll see whether we can get him to fall asleep. Unless he's still asleep, at which point this becomes unnecessary. Uh, hey. What's up? Hello. My master is currently resting. If your business is urgent, I will wake him, but I warn you, his temper can be great when roused from his slumber. Uh, I will turn later. Alright then. Turns out, uh, we don't need to do that. Uh, you can put your mesh jacket back on, and we can just go straight to doing this. Uh, I'm going to pour in the Juma juice. He really doesn't look like he's resting, does he? He looks wide awake. Uh, I'm going to go through here. Nice. We'll have whatever's in there. Uh, tremor sword, power shield. Okay. Trash. More trash. And in the locked box, double bladed lightsaber. Okay. And a Gamorrean cleaver. All right. Now that sounds cool. Gamorian Cleaver. 2 to 24 Axe. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway. Uh, so that's that quest done, right? Yeah. Good. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yes, uh, wake him for me. Master, this woman seeks an audience with you. Idiot girl, what could be important enough to disturb my rest? And you defile my space, human. You irritate my cat hands and me. Speak. Hmm. Um. 
Tell me about the hijackings. This is the work of Goto. Somehow he knows my freighter schedules and has hijacked every last one of them. I do not wish to speak of this anymore. Ask me something else, so be on your way. This talk of Goto only antagonizes me. What can you tell me about Goto? The infuriating one, Goto. He is the one I wish to see lying in a pool of blood in front of me, or if his knee bent. What has Goto done to you? I do not know how he has managed it, but he preys upon my freighters. Entire shipments of fuel from Celeron has been hijacked by his missions. Because of this, I have been forced to cease my trading operations, which has proven quite annoying. Um, Citadel Station is... Uh, if I can take care of Goto, will you agree to fuel ship fuel to Citadel Station? What? And you would do this at the kindness of your heart? What is your price? Um, a fair deal for Telos. Haha, <laughs> I like you. You aren't half bad for a human. I only make fair deals. But this is getting ahead of ourselves. First, Goto must be dealt with. Or the stores of Seleheron will remain on Seleheron. Was there something else? Otherwise, see yourself through the door. Um, I'll be going now. Okay, but I've dealt with Goto. You've returned, but I do not see Goto chained behind you. Can it be you have not had success yet? Uh, I do not have Goto here. I see. Uh, I'll be going now. You know what? If he wants to see Goto chained behind me, uh, you know. Let's try it, right? Goto, quick save. In case it goes bad. Hey, what's up? He returned, but I do not see Goto chained behind. He is. Okay, uh, I do not have Goto here, but rest assured he will trouble you no longer. Indeed, I had heard as much. I wouldn't have thought you could have so easily disposed of him. Rarely am I impressed, human. I believe this means we have a matter of business to discuss. My freighters have already begun their work. I will open trade with the Telosians. However, I believe they'll be reluctant to my offer. Should it come from me? Here, the credit should cover your expenses and a fee for the services rendered. I expect you to do what I have asked. If you do not, you'll find you have little time to enjoy those credits. Now leave. I haven't grown so fond of you. I'd like you around. Cool. That's good. So that is... He wants us to go back to Telos and say... We've got a job thing from right. Uh, Lutra next, I guess. Good. So Lutra, wait, it's not down there. Nope, he's not down there. But that's interesting that you can open that area up. Wait. Hmm, is this where the Bith went missing? You know, I just want to check. You know. I don't think it is, but worth just having a little look around. I mean, we're already here. We get XP for opening the other door, so it's not like it's a waste of time entirely. Apart from the fact our companions... Wait, where's Goto? Oh, Goto's just missing. <laughs> oh, I guess Goto wasn't allowed to speak to Voga, so he just went missing entirely. Weird. Okay. Um, We can open this door now. Also, where are my companions at all would be a good question. Um, well, luckily I don't really need them, but that's fine. So if I go and check with Lutra here, they should be good unless they need a pilot. Uh, this one? Hey, what's up? Aida, I didn't think I'd ever find you. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after, being shuttled from system to system barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope you have as much luck at what you're looking for. Hmm. Um, I hope so too. May the Force be with you both. It's strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear. Hmm. I think you already knew the answer, which is why you didn't give in to the exchange. Maybe you're right. Thanks again, stranger. 
short lightsaber. We have a lightsaber for Atten. It's an offhand lightsaber, but we have one. Uh, I think he's our lightsaber user. That's right. Yeah, he's the only person I've given lightsaber points to. Or Kreia, I guess, but she seems pretty taken with the axe. You know, I don't think she needs a lightsaber. She's, you know, she's pretty handy with it. No pun intended. Um, right. So. Are we done here? I think we're done here. Yeah. Uh, that one's not this one. That is the trade route needed, which we'll do when we go to Duxon slash Ondron. Um, he's looking for work on Narshadar. Well, sorry, I don't have any. Yeah, okay, we're good, I think. I don't know where we're, we would find work from. But, so that's fine. I think we're good. Yo, and my companions did join me here. I was worried it was going to say, uh, you must gather your companions before venturing forth. Or something like that. But it didn't, so that's good. Uh, well, Narshadar was fun. It was a little bit more janky than I remembered, but, you know, overall, it feels like it's the world that had the most potential content so far. You know what I mean? Like, it had so many mini-games, which are so in-depth. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, they had their own storylines and things. It seems to me, like, Narshadar was probably, like, one of the worlds they worked on, like, the longest. At least so far. Because it's got a lot of stuff which just seems like... It had a lot of potential content, a lot of storylines that had lots of different levels to them. And it seems like, compared to somewhere like Dantooine, where it was complete, but it was very kind of contained. Like, there was usually one or two people for each storyline. They didn't really have a lot to say. Here, there was quite a lot to do, actually. Yeah. And also all the stuff of the Ebon Hawk. It was cool. Also, talking of the Ebon Hawk, you know we're going to have cutscene coming in here. Guaranteed. So let's get them going. There's a save for the game, and cutscene. Command, you will talk. Defiant statement. There is nothing you can do to me. Do your worst. Agonized exclamation. <gasps> My photoreceptors. My photoreceptors. Statement, I shall up the charge of your circuits next time. Now. Answer the question. Posturing statement. I will never talk. Statement. Then I will have to settle for your screams. That is one sick droid. <laughs> statement. My prisoner has revealed something of interest. Allow me to share it with you. Statement. The facility that is creating these cruder, unsophisticated versions of me is located on Telos. I propose we go there and turn it into a smoldering crater. Ah, HK-47. I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, that one? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement. If I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Query. Have we had the misfortune to meet before? I believe I would have remembered one as large as you. Oh, yes, we have met. And I have not finished with you yet. Of course, it would be my pleasure. Meditation envy? Why don't you go sit on a rocket? Calm down. What is your problem? I don't want to talk about it. All right, you know, Atten, sometimes it's no wonder you can't figure yourself out the way you lie to yourself all the time. I've hunted a lot of people in my line of work, but I never met someone who wants to get lost more than you do. I've got a pretty good idea why, but not the whole picture. I will, though. My advice? Come clean before I find out. 
That guy. I don't trust him. I do. I mean, he's all right, I guess. He's like someone who watches too many holovids. Or teaches them. Yeah, you're right. He's boring. Yeah, and that puts him a few ranks up the ladder from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not boring. No, you're more like a shifty lying idiot with a tendency to complain about every little thing and offer only small bits of helpful advice if pressured. He'd get beaten to death on Narshada almost as soon as he landed, though. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Thought I had some competition there. Oh, well, it's not really a competition. I mean, you're kind of an idiot, Adden. And you don't shower enough. And you scratch your... equipment when you think no one's looking. Don't take it too hard, though. That still makes you better than most people I've met on Narshada. Thanks. And stop watching her. She's got enough problems. What is going on here? At last you understand, tiny Jedi. You? Who are you? What are you doing on this sh- Enough. What did you see in the web of worlds that have died? What did you see when you saw it through the Force? I see the death of the galaxy. Of life. At first, I thought it was just conquest. But it's more terrible than that. It's an echo, spreading outwards, killing everything. It's not possible. You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence, your naive love for others. Now you understand the magnitude of what is being done. I know you. Not even the markings of the dark side can hide it. Why have you done this? I... Do you think I seek the death of all living things? There is no victory in such things. I do not want to win our war like this, little Jedi. When I win, I wish it to be because I was right, my teachings true. How long have you been here, among us? You know the truth. I have always been here, watching and listening to the echo you have found. You know its source and what must be done. I will not let you hurt her. Little Jedi, you cannot stop me. But you will forget this. Your mind is worse than the others, so open, so trusting. Your feelings for her are your weakness. Yet I will gift you with this. You will remember what you have discovered when the time is correct. Know that you have seen what formerly only I knew. Now we shall see if you have the strength to stop what comes. Okay, okay. So. Hmm. That was, that's a lot of lore. It's very confusing. Yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of the Disciple conversations, but I don't remember that being the same as the conversations of the Handmaiden, so. There's a lot more to it. Uh, let's talk to everybody, see if they've got any updates. Uh, what was that quest update? Uh, oh, that would have been the HK one, right? Yeah, it's on Telos. Cool. Hey. My life for yours. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to teach you some stuff. I am prepared. Yeah, we're going to teach her the new form that we got. Um, well, very well, right? My life. Uh, here's a new technique. I am prepared. Breath control. Fantastic. Hey. Um. I will. Yep. Nothing new there. Cool. Next. Next person to speak to. Now I am thinking about when I was going to use uh, Visas because I do want to take all of my companions somewhere. I think we're. I'm going to take her as Caravan. That seems like that could be fun. So that's why I'm holding off there. Hey, Bowder. Yes, General. Uh, Don't worry. Here, learn uh, the form. Thank you. Hey. Yes. Learn, learn th think? this next thing. You know, take right. Hey. Yes. You have any shields? Sorry, General. I something. All right. Hey, HK. Query: Is there someone that you need killed, Master? No. Uh, questions? Hmm. Why did you ask me about the Mandalorian Wars? Answer. Why? Because your actions then and now are related, and I feel I need some context. I confess to being somewhat needy that way. What do you mean? Statement. 
Sometimes, Master, it is difficult for me. Back we've already heard this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we've already heard this. Fine. Next place. Uh, disciple, anything? Yes. Is something wrong? No. Um, can you make me some med packs? Certainly. All right, and other questions. Um, I was hoping there'd be a med packs one in there. Nope. All right. Hey. Yes. Med packs. Sir. Right. Hey. Yes. Med packs. No, more. Yes. I require more med packs. Thank yes. you. I require Sir. more med packs. Thank you. Yes. Med packs. Yeah. Yes. You know those med no. packs you were getting me? Oh, he's done. All right. Okay. Hey. Um, when I was captured by Goto, how were you able to find Goto's yacht? Mm-hmm. You snuck into Voga's droid warehouse to steal the codes? Hmm, so who was transmitting the codes to Goto's yacht? The droids, interesting. Alright, other questions? Uh, he, see, see, here's the main question. Um, I need a programming spike. Can you make any more? 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 All right, see ya. Yeah, four computer spikes. Not too bad. Nobody lives in here. Cool. Uh, this way? Well, that's Kreia. We'll go to her last. Let's speak to Mira. Hello. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah, can I get some grenades? <laughs> Grenade? Um, look, can you make grenades or not? Well, I don't like to use them unless they're C5 concussion spheres or the Mursan cryoband pellets. Sonic Screamers aren't too bad either, just don't use them on a Bith. Why not? It makes their head explode like a melon. And don't do it to a Celestine either. It makes their ears bleed and they gibber twice as fast. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Can I get some from you? Alright, alright. Keep your robes on. Here you go. Uh, alright. Can we talk? Talk? About what? Uh, I want to get to know you a little better. Why, are you trying to be my mother? No thanks. Already had one. Somewhere. All right, see ya. I don't think we've got anything else. She gave me an eye on grenade. I'm not gonna go through all that conversation for a grenade. I think we're fairly good on grenades. Hey, Atten, anything? I heard you making friends with the bounty hunter. I don't blame you. She's a scrapper. You don't survive on Narshida for very long if you aren't. Hmm. How did, did you know Mira Atten? I've known people like her. Maybe without the rocket launchers, but sort of the same. Maybe without the plunging neckline and the boots. I wouldn't let anything she says bother you. It's a wonder you cracked her attitude at all. She's cold as the ship's hull. Mm, I have some questions. All right. What did you want to know? No, I guess we're good. Okay. He does not like Mira. He doesn't really like anyone, to be honest. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't think of a single person on the ship he likes. Apart from perhaps us. Yes. Is there something you have come to offer me? Uh, considering I saved you, you could be more grateful. The fact we are even having a conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And, of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. I have some questions. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Uh, you want me to save the Republic. How is that possible? There are several factors, all of which affect each other. There is the stabilization of Dantooine, the preservation of the restoration efforts on Telos, the political resolution on Onderon, and the unification of a religious power base in the galaxy, either Jedi or Sith. Okay. Is there anything you can do to help those systems and their people, either with information or resources? The destruction of my yacht and of all my activities on Nar Shaddaa carry a cost that would take you several lifetimes to pay back. But perhaps the offer of credits will spur you to act quicker, more decisively. 
I am not unsympathetic to such greed. For every system you stabilize, I will reward you for your efforts. Hmm. Well, uh, if you have credits, that's all I needed to hear. See that you do not disappoint me. Okay. Uh, let's hear what needs to be done to get some credits. There is the stabilization of... Yes, 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 yes. Tell me about Dan Tween. stabilized Dan Tween. The Republic has gained a power base in the Outer Rim. Okay. Uh, I expect my reward. You have done well. And the stability you have caused shall be rewarded. I have arranged a transfer of funds from certain interests within the Republic to you. Okay, what else needs to be stabilized? There is the stabil... Yeah, uh, restoration efforts on Telos? Telos is instrumental to the stability of the Republic. Its success or failure will dictate the economic forecasts of many other worlds. Of course, since the destruction of the Paragus facility, the odds of the Telos restoration project being successfully completed is close to zero. Hmm. Um, it was necessary to destroy the planet to stop the Sith. I hope you do not decide that the next thing that must be destroyed to stop the Sith is the galaxy itself. Perhaps one must ask themselves at what point defending your religious ideals is advantageous to the Republic as a whole. As long as your defense does not exterminate more than 50% of those you intend to help, is that acceptable? Hmm. Uh, okay, well, what's the situation on Onderon? Onderon is an outer rim world, rich in ecological resources. Its aggressive ecology is capable of bringing devastated worlds back to life. It is currently experiencing a political schism split between two forces. One must triumph for the planet to be stabilized. Okay. Uh, I have other questions. You may speak. Uh, where is your base of operations? Now, now, that would be telling. For now, my presence must remain a secret, and it may remain that way forever. Okay, I have other questions. I am willing to endow- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what capabilities does your droid possess? It has been assigned to guard and protect you. As such, it is well suited for a variety of tasks. It is skilled in intimidation, interrogation, and can provide a series of select skills that will make it an effective killing machine. For the most part, it will follow your orders, unless they conflict with mine. Okay, and if they do? Then its proton core will detonate, turning this ship into space dust. There is no negotiation in this. I will not allow you to interfere with my operations and plans. Okay, what skills does it have? This unit comes with a droid scrambler that you may use against mechanized opponents to randomize their defensive and offensive protocols. Use it and it will cause droids to wage a civil war in their programming and they will turn on their allies. Its power source is not limitless, but it is enough. In addition, this unit comes equipped with a portable cloaking generator. It will allow it to enter places undetected in reconnaissance mode. Okay. Uh, so you're sneaky and confusing. How droll. What an amusing Jedi specimen you are. Okay, I have other questions. You may speak. Uh, do you know anything about the HK droid sent after me? The assassin droids? I have encountered some purchased the service of others. Why are they hunting me? Why, I asked them to. To be honest, I believe that was always their intention, but it seems their directive was dormant for some time. Okay. Do you know where they're coming from? If you mean produced, no, I do not. I do know that there are a surprising number scattered throughout the Republic fleet searching for you. What they will do now that you are found is easy to predict. Uh, you mean they're going to come after me? Of course they are. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory-impaired assassination droid will know more about his subsequent generations than I would. Okay, what are they doing in the Republic fleet? They are masquerading as protocol droids. I have discovered that when they are used in negotiations, they have a predictable pattern of sabotaging whatever peace treaties they are involved with. Hmm. Why didn't the Republic know? Because the Republic has 
has no reason to investigate otherwise, and any discovery of their true purpose has been concealed by well-timed accidents. Hmm. So why haven't you acted on this information? Because their behavior is predictable, of course. By monitoring their presence, I know which worlds will suffer civil wars, planetary conflicts, and republic bombardment. Hmm. Okay. Other questions? I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Um, on the yacht you mentioned Revan, but Revan sought to destroy the Republic. A common misconception not supported by facts. Revan did not intend to destroy the Republic. He deliberately left the infrastructure of many planets intact and many military production facilities. Hmm, mm-hmm. I can tell you, having been Revan, that was not his intention whatsoever. His intention was personal gain, pure and simple, but apart from that, uh, but why? Revan had limitless forces. I believe that by whatever means he used to build his armada, he recognized that it was somehow a limited source, or that he was only willing to use it to a point. My prediction is that whatever production facility was being employed, it carried a price that Revan perceived as detrimental to the goals of the Sith. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. Okay. Um, what about Malak? Unlike Revan, Malak demonstrated no concern for the future of the Republic in his attacks. His stratagems were painfully obvious, intending to crush all resistance everywhere. There was little thought beyond the complete destruction of anything that opposed him. He left quite a mess. I'm still trying to assess all the damage. Between the two, I would have preferred Revan rule the galaxy. He had foresight in his conquest, a subtlety that Malak did not possess. Okay. Do you know where Revan got his forces? That is also a mystery to me. I do not have any evidence upon which to build an answer. It is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably, and after Revan's departure from known space, production ceased completely. It is my prediction that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, there was no such figure left among the Sith. Mm-hmm. Well, guess that's it. See ya. I gained influence of Goto, lost influence of Goto, and got dark side points, apparently. I don't remember what I said that would have been so dark, but there we go. Right. One last person to check in with. Hey, Kreia. Yes? Have you come with questions? No, but there is apparently something I can do here. Ask. Where if I say... There is meant to be something... Oh, this one's new. If the council cast you out, how come Atrus and other Jedi Masters mentioned you? Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. You're lying. Am I? Then perhaps you should know. There are techniques in the Force where one can cloud the memory of others, make their presence so small as to be unnoticed. And on the worlds where we have encountered these Jedi, there is much life and death where sensing such things is difficult. As I said, it is of no consequence to me or to them. Did you use that technique on me? No, but if I did, you would never know. So my words only carry as much worth as you believe them to. But perhaps you will understand this. That perhaps it is important to me that you see me and my actions uncloaked. It is important that your judgments, whether be good or bad, stem from seeing me as I truly am. Um, I still think you're lying to me and you haven't told me everything. Then you are learning quickly. Distrust is an effective shield and should be carried always. All right, other questions? Ask, and I will answer. Uh, I can't see the question I'm looking for. Interesting. Hmm. Apparently, there is a question where, uh, the one where you said, hey, what's wrong with your eyes, which you can spam for influence? I just thought if you, I'd see if the question was still there, but uh, I guess it's not, unless it's down a subtree, but I'm not going to go that far. Anyway, I think it's time to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time, well, I guess we're going back to Telos. See you then. Goodbye.